Hello, is my mic on? Hello? Better? Thank you. Right, welcome to EMF 2014. We're back. So, some of you may know, I'm John T. I'm one of many, many organisers. And we've been working on this for over a year. Um, it's quite a large team. You're going to see a lot of us around site. Uh, please don't bother people randomly just because you really want to thank them. They, they really need to get on with things a lot of the time. Um, but at the end, buy them all a drink. Like everyone wearing your lanyard or wearing like high vis, buy them all drinks, especially me. Um, that would be great. I am allowed to drink. Um, so, yeah, and we're all unpaid. Everyone's been working in their own time for a really, really long time sorting this out. So don't take it out on us too much if things go wrong. They probably will, and we've really tried to get it right, but we're not being paid. Um, can I get a show of hands of people who've been to EMF in 2012? And people who came to Electromagnetic Wave last year? And people who came to both? That's really disappointing. <laughs> so, I thought it was going to be a lot better than that. Anyway, well, never mind. Um, so this year, we are over 1,000 people. Um, we are almost sold out. So if you've got anyone who's coming on site and doesn't have a ticket, you probably want to call them now and tell them to buy their ticket. Uh, we'll probably be sold out by the end of the day, and we will not be selling any day tickets or letting anyone else in after that. So just a quick heads up. Um, and this is up from the 400 we had in 2012. Uh, we had some day tickets as well, but you know we're well over 1,000, which is pretty cool. Um, can I also get a hand up for anyone who's come from further than America? You do not count. <laughs> so has anyone come from America? Right, you win a point. So, <laughs> so standing thing, whoever's come the furthest gets a point from me. Um, so so did anyone come, it's, it's just America, anyone come any further than America? No one at all. That's, there's a New Zealand email address asking for workshop. Maybe there's someone from New Zealand, that would be nice. Anyway, we're not sure about that. Right, nearly everything is now set up on site. Nearly everything. The lounge is still being worked on. Um, the workshop tent, I think, is now fine. These stages, as you can see, do not have very good projectors. Um, this would be a lovely video of the site taken from the air, um, but unfortunately, these projectors are, are not great, uh, and these tents are very bright. When we tested this, it was a bit darker, and it's not entirely gone according to plan. We are working on a plan to fix this. Hopefully, it will be enacted by the end of the day. I can't promise that, so the first speaker's coming up. You might have a little bit of trouble, there's not much we can do about that. We're very sorry. We're working on it as, as quickly as we can. Um, hopefully, people will put their slides up afterwards if you couldn't see them up here. And you'll just have to mime or something. I'm not really sure what you're going to do. Interpretive dance would be fine. Um, after 4 p.m.-ish, depending on how things go, you'll be able to pick up your goodie bags, or welcome bags, we, we use the terms interchangeably, from the info tent. Uh, and they will contain your uh, camp badge, which is the Tilda Mark E. This is the improved, improved version of the previous badge, which has a lovely screen on it um, and has the camp schedule loaded on it, wirelessly connected. It's all very fancy and lovely, and it also has Tetris for when you're bored. Um, but uh, these will be available along with uh, other information you need in the bag from the Info 10 after 4. The reason it's a little bit delayed is because they're still soldering some of the badges up. They only arrived this morning. Um, we like to push things right to the end, and we, it's, 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 you know... Just in time delivery, it's completely fine. Um, so those are all the fun bits. There's bits that aren't as fun. Uh, the projector I've already mentioned, and we are fixing that as quickly as possible. And our workshops are really, really full. Now, I have to apologize for anyone who's been let down by the workshop sign-up on email. You were all very excited, and we didn't expect that. Um, we just, the blacksmiths came to us and said, we really want to get everyone signed up before the event so we know how many people are going to be coming to them. And we tried to convince them that this wasn't a problem and everyone would be signing up at the event, but they asked us to do it anyway. So we opened up email sign up, and then within 12 hours, we had 400 emails and two people dealing with them, and they were not very happy. So we had to sort of stop, and that's when you all got an email saying, please stop emailing us. Um, so workshop sign-ups are now at the info tent. I believe there are some still available, but nearly all of them are sold out. Uh, say sold out, booked out. Um, some of the workshops do come with an additional cost uh, for components or whatever, whoever's putting them on. Um, please be aware of that and make sure you've checked beforehand and you've taken cash. Otherwise, they're going to ask you to leave, and that's a bit rubbish. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> Uh, we are also trying to find more space for workshops to try and put more on. Um, one of the other things we were not expecting this year was the sheer number of workshops we were going to get submitted to the CFP. Uh, we have one workshop tent and three stages. That thought that would be fine. We really needed more like three workshops and one stage, uh, and that would have been just about right. Um, that's, that's not true. Uh, 
but we're trying to see if we can put some in the lounge and put some in the villages. If you are running a village and you have workshops in your village and you haven't told me already, why haven't you told me I need to put them in the schedule? Please email uh, content at emfcamp.org with anything that's going on in your village. We can put it in the schedule so people can come out and see you. Um, and if you're charging for them, let me know that as well. And that's completely fine. Uh, if you are, came on site before this morning and you don't have a wristband, you need to go and get your wristband from the, in, from the check-in desk before 6 p.m. today. Otherwise, we will get the telehandler and Benny will move you off site with the telehandler. So please do that. Otherwise, actually, no, someone don't do that because I want to see it happen. I've been promised it will. Um, and uh, if you have any free time at all, which I know you all do because you're on here for a weekend and there's lots of free time, please volunteer. We need, the entire thing is volunteer run. We need volunteers to run the workshops. We need volunteers in the bar. We really need volunteers to do some security, which is really boring, but we do have live streams to watch. So you can kind of sit there being secure and watching live streams. So, you know, that sort of works. Um, that's all the really boring bits, I think. And that's nearly everything I have to say. Uh, I'm really glad everyone's here. And I'm really glad that we sold out because we were really nervous that we've got so much bigger in, in two years' time we thought things might go horribly wrong. We thought we might sell out. We thought we might go bankrupt and Russ and I would end up in jail or something. But, you know, it's, it's fine. We've, we've, sold, we've sold more than enough tickets. And um, I, we really appreciate everyone coming. So thank you very much to everyone who's here. And... <laughs> yeah. And thank you for the unexpected applause. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, it, it makes it all worth it, and we've worked really hard. There's been tears, there's been blood, pretty small amounts of blood, but there has been blood. Um, and it, it, we all really appreciate it. Um, there's not many of the volunteer in the org team in this tent at the moment. There are a few. Can you put your hands up if you are part of the org team and part of the organizers? There's like six of them, because everyone else is really busy making the event run. So it, it's, well, find them towards the end of the event. If they're in the bar, buy them a drink, as I said earlier. Um, we have to thank our sponsors. Now... The event will run quite happily without sponsors, nearly, nearly, um, but the sponsors cover things like the badge. The badge doesn't come out of your ticket price. The badge is entirely sponsored so that you can't not get one. We want to make sure everyone gets the same thing. Um, and we have some sponsors covering the networking and some sponsors who very, very helpfully stepped in to cover the lounge when we didn't have enough money. So we really like them. Uh, so I need to thank for the badge, I need to thank Ragworm. A Ragworm in the room. Right, these three people back there have done incredible things to make the badge happen. Uh, there is a talk on Sunday. There is a talk on Sunday, which I will be drinking during, and we will tell you what has happened with this badge, because it almost killed all of us. Uh, so we need to thank Ragworm, we need to thank Element 14, we need to thank PayPal. Oh, I need to say PayPal and Braintree, because they changed it, and now it's rubbish. But that's, anyway. Uh, <laughs> I need to thank MathWorks. I need to thank Sasiko, Twilio, uh, Image, uh, Imagination Technologies, Shadowcat Systems, CodeThink, Pi Moroni, and LPRS, all of whom have someone on site somewhere, and I'm sure you can say hi to them somewhere else. Uh, for networking and making sure we have an internet connection here, which almost didn't happen, but has, um, we need to thank Comtech, Flex Optics, Aruba, uh, LoNAP, and Coloca. Uh, for the lounge, we need to thank Portcullis, who have stepped in and stopped that from uh, completely going under. And we have, for the first time, we have kids' childcare and um, proper childcare, not rubbish childcare with people who think they can do it. Um, <laughs> you can work out what that reference is to. Um, uh, they're located right down the end of the, of the camping field. So they're, they're far away. Hopefully the kids won't annoy you and you won't annoy the kids. Uh, we'll see if that works. Um, and that is open from... Uh, I'm going to get this wrong now. 10 till 8 every day, I think. And you can drop your kids off there. They'll be looked after and you can come and get them later on. Um, we also have full kids workshops, and they look quite fun as well. Some of them actually look better than the normal workshops. So <laughs> um, I did have someone get in touch asking if the Make a Lightsaber workshop was actually a real lightsaber. That was really good. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah it, it is a fake one. Uh, in addition, I've got a few more people to thank. And we need to thank ByteMark for hosting our servers. Um, which has been great. Uh, they've dealt with us all the time. We need to thank the CCC, who have helpfully le le lent us their address space for the internet and all sorts of advice and generally just been lovely people. Uh, and I, I need to thank IRC Cloud, who Russ and I work for. I need to thank them because Russ and I have been really shit at work for a while now. So um, uh, 
Yeah, thank you to uh, them, and uh, I need to thank the team. So the team have been amazing. We couldn't have done this without them. And uh, yeah, it's been really amazing. Now, because I have a terrible memory, and because this is written out very quickly in 15 minutes before the talk, have I forgotten anything that I need to say? Anyone? Right, so that was, if anybody hasn't got their furniture for the village, it's down by stage B. Go and collect it from there. Please don't take too much. We do have a limited amount. Also, um, There's more. Right, so the village tents are kites. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, actually, just as a quick thing, it is really windy here, which we didn't quite expect. Um, if you do see any tents escaping and making you run for freedom, please stop them. Um, they can do quite a lot of damage and to people and other tents. So that would be useful. Um, quick call out to first aid as well. They're located just up by the main entrance. Uh, they'll help you with anything that's going on. If you do manage to hurt yourself, break a leg, your face, whatever, um, find someone with a radio and get them to radio in. Uh, if you're going to call 999, they're going to call us back. and they will get, So it, you get a really weird loop for this. Please go to one of our staff first and don't call 999 because it just gets really awkward for everyone involved. Uh, is there anything else I've forgotten from anyone? Will, stop looking at your phone. Have you forgotten anything? Where do people go to volunteer? Ah, yes. If you want to volunteer, go to the info tent, say, I would like to volunteer, I'm useful, and then be useful. Um, anything else? When's the bar? The bar's open now. <laughs> You've missed out. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and we, oh, one other thing, we, we miss out, we've got one less food vendor than we expected. Hopefully that won't be a problem, we'll have enough coverage anyway. Their van broke down, they can't make it. I don't think it'll be an issue, but we should, um, just to make you aware of that. Um, the barbecues actually that are going to be outside just here, they're shared barbecues for everyone to use you can buy uh, charcoal from the shop uh, they are not welded together yet because somebody forgot their welder um, so they'll be up by the end of the day I'm assured um, if you like welding go and help them um, there, there's an arm up at the back of the tent go on. we have no workshop space <laughs> so, unless it's in your tent um, Maybe. So if anybody does actually like welding, come and say hi, and you can come and do some welding. Anything else? Can I get off stage now? I don't like it up here. What? Oh, yeah, we have a code of conduct this year, um, so please don't be mean to anyone. That's the short version. Um, the longer version is actually quite comprehensive, uh, and we will chuck people off site if we've found that you're being a nasty person. Um, please read it. It's in your booklet. Um, we're not going to tolerate it. We've had it happen. Well, we've never had it happen. We've heard of it happening at other events. We're just not going to stick with it. So please be nice to one another. Everyone should be lovely. Um, anything else? The bar closes at 1 a.m., which is just late enough for me to get there. So you need to... Right, I think we're done. Good, right. I'm not quite done. <laughs> I've just remembered the talk that should be happening next, which is high altitude ballooning on this stage. Uh, they are currently stuck in traffic. Um, uh, and they can't use a high altitude balloon to get here. So it's, uh, I believe. Oh no, are they here? Hey! I'm not sure if that's a round of applause for them or the motorways. I can't tell. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I think we are absolutely done now. So uh, have a lovely time. If you have any problems, go to the info tent. They will help you out. They're open until, I think, 9 p.m. Uh, otherwise, grab someone who looks important, and hopefully they are. Uh, have a lovely time, and see you around the camp. <laughs>